Here we have Taco Star on Havana in Aurora, Colorado. Just opened a month or two ago and we're gonna see what it's like. Taco Star. Taco Star is a Mexican fast food restaurant. It's better than fast food, but it has a traditional menu with burritos, tacos, tortas, the whole nine yards, including breakfast. Here it is. Blake, what did we order? We ordered a carne asada burrito and chips. Okay, what's on the chips? What's that green stuff? Um, guacamole and cheese. Right. Did we order nachos? Yes. What uh, What does that look like? Nachos. Okay. There's your carne asada burrito. You want to go ahead and open it? Yes. By the way, this is for spice tea. Okay. Did you get any? How is it? It's pretty good. Okay. Amazing. Come together and have that amazing richness. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What about the seasoning? Is it seasoned as well? Yes. Very good. So for an eight dollar mm. burrito, what do you think? I think it's pretty I think it's worth eight dollars. Yes, it's a little suspicious about that because it, they made this in about a minute. Well, most of this stuff is already made. Most of the food in restaurants like this is already made. They assemble it to order. There's a few places where it's not, but then it would, they wouldn't be able to serve food if they made it to order every single time. It would take 15, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Like normal restaurants, do mm -hmm. like what's Like what's in that burrito? Mm -hmm. The suspicious sweetie avocado sauce. Okay. And I think there's a couple of tomatoes. There's a, there's a pico de gallo. And oh, what's its name? I, I always get the basil in it. Cilantro. Cilantro. Um, can I have a bite? What? Can I try a bite? Sure. Isn't that good? That's really good. Mm -hmm. The meat is seasoned really well. The guacamole helps to keep it nice and moist. The pico de gallo also gives it good flavor and background seasoning. I'd give that an eight, eight and a half out of ten. Wow. That's really good. Mm -hmm. That's good beef. And that is a carne asada burrito. Mm -hmm. This is one of the things that made it a four. Out of five? Yeah. Okay. You gotta say that, because if you don't, four out of ten is not that good. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny? What? Whenever I got food on these bright plastic trays, I always assume it's gonna be bad food. Always. Same with me, Dad. Really? Same with me. It's like... But please do save this for dinner. You want that for dinner? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. It's amazing. That should have cost him more money or something. <laughs> Good. The place was really clean. The food was really good. And I don't think they charged enough. So out of, out of 10 stars, how many would you give them? I'd give them about a nine. A nine stars, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Taco Star, I'd give this place an eight. 
Let me just make sure you understand why I'm giving it an eight. It is not amazing food. However, being Mexican style fast American food, um, you know, burritos, uh, burritos, tacos, tortas, that sort of thing, um, it's not cooked to order, it's definitely assembled, but at the same time, it's good flavor. Guacamole was a little smoother than I like, but the carne asada burrito that Blake got, I took a bite, it was very well seasoned. Tad on the salty side, I kind of like that though. Either way, it's about on par with Viva Burrito. The difference between Taco Star and Viva Burrito is Taco Star's cleanliness rating is much better. I always try to ignore the cleanliness of the uh, Viva Burrito and I will not even go into their bathrooms anymore. But uh, this place, very clean dining room. In fact, one of the workers was cleaning it as we went and I thought that was pretty good. Overall score, I'd give it an eight. Come and check it out. I think you'll enjoy it.